how to generate 60 YouTube shorts in 60 minutes using one AI tool to turn your ideas into videos using a cloned version of your own voice. This year, faceless channels have been appearing all over YouTube. Simple shorts like this using stock footage, artificial voiceovers, and animated subtitles are getting millions of views every single day. But what if I told you that you could generate one of these videos for your channel in just one minute? I want to create some new shorts for my history channel, and any automation process needs Needs a template. Essentially, you want to make one video and then repeat that recipe over and over again with slightly different ingredients. Just a few months ago, this sort of AI automation process would involve doing a lot of manual research yourself, generating a script with ChatGPT, then using another video editor app to assemble the final product. But now, all I need to use is one tool called VideoGPT. This custom plugin by Veed literally works inside ChatGPT, and I've left a link down in the description below. But essentially, all I'm going to do to get started is select let's create a video which kickstarts the conversation with the AI. And now it's asking me for a topic or theme that I have in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my idea into the box, which is the top 10 facts about the Roman Empire with no introduction, just go straight into the fact. I'll just hit enter. And this is where the AI starts to show its real strengths. It's now asking me specific questions about my idea and what I want to see in the video. So in this list, it's asking about any specific facts I want to include. It's asking about the visual style or theming and the right tone for my voiceover, which could honestly be anything from educational, dramatic, enthusiastic. You could even type in a specific accent or language that you want to use. So I've gone ahead and answered all of those questions and it's now letting me review the final idea that it's come up with. And just looking through here, it looks pretty interesting to me. The facts are really good, but if you did want to change anything, now's the time to say. For example, maybe I want to change one of these facts. Let's say I didn't like fact six and I want to try a different one. All I have to do is type that in and it's regenerated the idea. So when you're happy with the final outline, just type in continue. And in just a couple of seconds, it's generated my full video and given me a link, which opens up inside the Veed video editor. And this is the most important step. Many AI text to video generators don't actually let you edit the final product, but with Veed, you can literally edit everything you see in the timeline. But first, let's take a look at what it's come up with. Did you know that the Roman Empire stretched across three continents? Mind-blowing, right? And those ancient superhighways called Roman roads? They were like the highways of their time. So as you can see, this video isn't bad, but no AI generated content is perfect. So I like to think of this as a first draft that I can make even better. And I like to kickstart this process by replacing any footage that I don't like. For example, I want something that's a little bit more attention grabbing as my opening shot. So all I'm gonna do is click on that clip, go over to the left-hand side and hit replace video. And by opening up the stock footage library, I can just search for whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to look for footage of Rome. And just by scrolling through, I quite like this shot here of the Roman army. So I'm going to select that and it's going to replace it straight away down in the timeline. It's easy. I can do that to any clip that is added. I can also add some extra stock footage to make the video a bit more fast paced and dynamic, especially in those opening few seconds. I could do this just by hitting the media tab, going to the stock footage library and choosing another clip by using the search bar. You can also swap out or add music in the exact same way. And there's loads of different genres and styles in the music library. Then I can also change that AI voiceover. You can choose from the massive selection of pre-made voice styles, choosing from different voice actors and languages. There's even options for different tones of voice. Or you could try cloning your own voice. Check this out. To create a voice clone, all you need to do is select that option hit add new, move to the next step and record this script into the editor. The AI then uses this recorded speech to replicate your voice. And when it's submitted, you can then use your very own AI generated voice clone to read whatever you want including the AI generated script that we've already made. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that now. So that exact same script is now being read in my own voice. And you'll hear what it sounds like in just a minute. But before we listen to it back, there is one more thing I need to change. I can also customize these boring subtitles to make my video more engaging. Just click on your subtitles down in the timeline open up the styles menu at the top and pick from any of the animated presets. This style right here is currently really popular on YouTube Shorts, so I'm going to go with that one. I can also change the size and color so they stand out a little bit more. And then we're done. I can just go ahead and export that and upload it to my channel. I can then go right back to the very start of the process and change that initial prompt to make a brand new video. So instead of 10 facts about the Roman Empire, it could be 10 facts about ancient Greece. And of course, here's the final product. Did you know that the Roman Empire stretched across three continents? 
Mind-blowing, right? And those ancient superhighways called Roman roads, they were like the highways of their time. So you've seen just how easy it is to generate content with AI, but how does the quality compare to a real human freelancer? I paid three freelancers on Fiverr to make a better YouTube short than my AI generated one. And you can check out that video right here.